Oh. Whoa. Flushing again today and we're going to ask people on the streets what their favorite restaurant to eat in Flushing is. Stay tuned and we're gonna eat there. What is your favorite place to eat in Flushing? Uh, my favorite place to eat in Flushing is Full Best. It's on Prince Street. And there's another one uh, like on Main in Arcadia Mall. Awesome, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks. Flushing it. Eat. Damn. Your go-to place. Damn, I don't have a go-to place. There's too many good spots in Flushing. Okay, Kana on that way is pretty good. Well, what's your favorite place? Oh, the coop. Coop chicken. Oh, um, Pao Pai. Pao Pai, which one? Um, it's, it's right down there. It's called Chongqing Mao. Oh, the no, fancy one? The yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, what is your favorite place to eat in Flushing? Chongqing Mao. I'm from Chongqing, right? And the hot pot is very like it's not like a hundred percent authentic, but it's very close to Chongqing's hot pot. Hi guys, what is your favorite place to eat in Flushing? So one of the my favorite places to eat in Flushing is uh, Crab Store, like right oh. down the streets. You know what? You know where? Yeah, right there. I oh. love it. I love their food. It's pretty amazing. Like number one to go like eat something in the morning. It's all with this one, the Rainbow Bakery. Oh. Oh. Is this from there? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so. like, the, the food is like really tasty. Hi, what is your favorite place to eat in Flushing? Actually, for Vietnam, we have our full pass here. Oh, oh my god, we need that. So many people said that today. Yeah. Which one? The Number full pass on, uh, on the main street. Uh, oh, the street. Street. So street. Oh. Wow. Food court, like before COVID though. Oh. Like maybe the kanji place. I don't really come here that often, oh, but hi. I like the teriyaki chicken. Oh, in the food court. Yeah. Yeah. Your favorite place to eat at Flushing? Northern Blue Hall? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I like everything. Which one? Adilov? Yeah. Oh, Adilov, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> here? Oh, okay. He used to stay in here, but I don't know the name, but it's a big ball one. Oh, yeah. You can choose everything, you know? <laughs> I've been going to Jiangnan a lot. We like Just East Side of the I go to Nanjing, but I know it's kind Xiao of like, Yeah, Xiao Long okay. Bao. Oh, oh no, I'm from Maryland, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. to go eat Whatever she says. Yeah, oh, like that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm a food car. Oh, which yeah. one? Everything. Uh, Everything's good? Yeah. Cool. Pao Pao. I do not. I do not. Okay, so that's true. It's called the Shanghai Yi. We just went here. You know that? Yeah. I like that place. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll say usually I'm really indecisive. So I just go to the food court. Like, I, I, I just go to the food court. Yeah. Food court? Oh, that's not cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a popular one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really like that. Chipotle, is a Chipotle down there. Chipotle? Mm -hmm. I only Burger King. Chipotle, Burger King, McDonald's. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Ran into our friends in Flushing. Let's see what their favorite restaurants in Flushing are. I would recommend the pho best over there by the Mogay's Tea. And I have the bone marrow. Shit's so good. Okay, bye. You should go to Pho Bang right oh. there. After you have some lovely food in Flushing, I would suggest Chinatown Ice Cream Factory for some great flavors with Asian twists. As a Flushing resident, all food places are great, but I would recommend Dunkin' Donuts, oh, America's God. Coffee, America's <laughs> Cup of Joe. All right, guys, the people have spoken. Where are we going? We're going to the best. We're gonna get some pho, which we are so excited about because you know we love Vietnamese food. And it's raining right now, so we gotta <laughs> rush. God, completely soaked. We made it through that torrential downpour. Like a tornado is coming, yeah. winds are blowing, but we made it! Let's We're get inside. Some yeah. <laughs> but best, there it is. Okay, so we got two number ones with the bone marrow. Bone marrow pho. The signature. Oh, the signature. Everyone gets it. We got it, finally. Oh, it this bowl is so huge. Good. 
is. Yeah. And this bone marrow freaking looks delicious. And they don't always have this, so yeah. it's a treat when they do have it. Wow. Wow, this smells so good. Should we start with the rolls? I think we should. The summer rolls? All right. Oh. It's just a uh, shrimp inside with vermicelli noodles. Mm -hmm. uh, Carrots, super. lettuce. But it's just shrimp in there. Don't forget to put the peanut butter sauce on because it's very light in flavor. So you have to put the peanut butter sauce in. Cheers. Cheers. It's like mint leaf. Mm -hmm. mm, this peanut butter sauce is so good. Mm. It's really good. Honestly, I just can't wait to get into this. So we got the number one, the signature dish. It has beef, brisket, tripe, tendon, and the bone marrow. Bone marrow is extra, $3 extra, mm -hmm. but I think it's super worth it. And the bowl was huge. This is a big bowl. Mm. See how it's red? We gotta cook it. Cook it in the soup. We got a bowl of basil leaves and bean sprouts and lime wedges here for our pho. So let's put that in. I'm not gonna have this, but mm. bring on the bean sprouts. Let's go. Yes, and then you cook it in there. Have some lime and squeeze the lime in. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. So flavorful. Mm. Explosion in your mouth. You get to the broth too. It's so cool. good. Mm. Wow. The noodle is very good. And there's just so much meat. Look at this. This is a very generous bowl. So this is the beef brisket. This is the beef tendon. This is beef tripe. Wait, we gotta get the, the best part. What is the best part? Bone marrow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mine looks a little fatty. Yeah, why is my all fat? So it's all fat bone marrow. Oh my god. Here, try a piece of mine. Bone marrow time. Oh my gosh. Mm. Very fatty. Yeah. Just a lump of fat. I never had a lump of fat, but... Like, you know when you get the bone, you just slurp it? Yeah. The, the little ones, not the I huge so. ones. Yeah. I would prefer to eat it in the... Alright, we're gonna add it to the soup now. <laughs> in the soup. Fatty soup. Did you know there's three locations? Right now we're in Puff as number one, but there's actually two and three. The fattiness of the soup is definitely coming through. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I gotta try it. I'm not sure if it's the healthiest, but... It's the tastiest. Mm -mm. It's like adding a whole stick of savory butter in your, oh, in your yeah. pho. As we might have learned from our friend Brian last time, oh, yeah. pho is a very humble dish. Everybody eats it. Rich in the poor, lunch and dinner. It always hits the spot, yeah. especially on a rainy, cold day like today. We don't know where to go, be a place. Mm. This broth has definitely been simmered for hours at a time. That's how you know that it's really good broth. Yeah, it's none of that fake powder stuff, you know what I'm saying? We've had that before. <laughs> that was like the worst experience ever. People ask, is a broth unhealthy? I think it's just all about portion control because it's also like very nutritious, a lot of protein. You know? True. Yeah, it's like a lot of nutrients taken off from these bones mm. for so long, so. We definitely got extra nutrients with yeah. that bone marrow. Why do you think which part of it makes it people's favorite? I think it's because everything looks it's so fresh. The ingredients are really fresh. There's a big meat portion, like very generous. What do you think? Yeah, and that broth is just extra meaty. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Extra meaty broth. Mm -hmm. If you're into that, I'm done. Tip for the future, just get one bone marrow. If you're getting two bowls, just one bone marrow. You can just share it. Yeah, it does get heavy after a while. Yeah, and the, the marrow you know, gets chunky and just stays in your soup too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This guy here ate like one and a half bowls. Pretty much. <laughs> but for real though, if you just get the number one alone in other places, you mm. might not be, you might be like 80% full, mm -hmm. but this one, you're good. That was a good amount of food. Thanks for the suggestion. We gotta walk it off. <laughs> yeah, that bowl destroyed us. And we destroyed the bowl too. Yeah, we destroyed it. All right. Oh my God, sluggish. I hope it's not raining anymore. How are you feeling? Good thing we had that pho because that keeps us warm outside this How is the cold wind will blow your way? Yeah. But hopefully we'll see a rainbow soon. The sun's coming out. Wow. That fall was pretty amazing. And this place right here is actually the close second, so we'll have to try it next time. If you like this type of content, give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned. If you want to see more of our stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.